a genuine sucker for uh, the, that cheesy Disney music that they play during the cavalcades, for parade music, stuff I wouldn't listen to. I wouldn't give it time of day. Hey, how are you? I probably wouldn't give that music the time of day on my radio, right? Or on Pandora or whatever, whatever you're listening. Who li I don't even know what people listen to anymore. I'm only pretending that I listen to the radio because I don't. <laughs> but still, I wouldn't give that music the time of day. But when I'm at Disneyland, it's perfection. So obviously we're here at Disneyland today, but not just any day. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Probably, probably the biggest, what, televised event of the year, every year? I can't, the Oscars maybe? I don't know, I don't know what rivals Super Sunday uh, for folks just glued to their televisions in their living rooms or at bars or wherever the case may be. This is the day to be in front of a television. And that's why I'm here at Disneyland. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> because I want to know, does it reflect? People ask, is this a good day to go to the park? Now, historically, I've always said, no, it's not. But today, this year, post-COVID, all bets are up at Disneyland. We have no idea anymore what is right and what is not based on historical, you know, whatever. So uh, I'm here today to find out what the park is like on Super Bowl Sunday. We're going to see if it's busy. First glance here, that's a pretty crowded Main Street. Let me set the scene for you, actually. It's about 1.45 right now. 1.45. Uh, most of the park hoppers have hopped. People coming over from DCA, they've come over. Uh, there's some, some people have left, actually. When I was in the Esplanade, there was a lot of cross traffic when I got here at about 1.15. A lot of cross traffic in the Esplanade, meaning guests going back and forth between parks. Yes, yeah, so it's 145. This is pretty busy for 145. It is also about a million degrees out today. Uh, we had Santa Ana's roll through a couple days ago, which we talked about in previous videos. So it's very, very warm today. Uh, oh yeah, and then also, uh, I kind of had a feeling this was what I was going to find when I got to the Toy Story parking structure at, what was it? Um, it was like 1230, I think. But the line waiting for the bus was pretty long for this time of day. Normally, there's, there's a shortish wait to get on a bus at this time of day at around 12 or 1 o'clock. Not, you know, that was a sort of a morning group right there. That took 15 minutes to get on a bus, a little, a little under 15 minutes. What I'm trying to say so far is that the, uh, what I'm seeing right now is that it is definitely busy today, even for a Sunday. Now, as I mentioned, uh, it's about 2 o'clock, almost 2 o'clock. Kickoff is probably going to be somewhere around 4 o'clock for Super Bowl. Uh, so there's still a good two hours left before the game actually starts. But I would say, though, that you're, we're right about at that point when uh, if you're trying to be home in time for the game, that you should be leaving now. <laughs> so the crowds that we're seeing should be pretty representative of what we're going to see in an hour or two from now when the game actually does start. Let's go take a look around some of the major attractions and see what the wait times are right now. go guys that's our first bit of sort of contrarian evidence 40 minutes very surprised borderline shocked that uh, it's just 40 minutes I was not expecting that I was expecting 60 easy this is a very modest looking uh, standby queue and there was nobody zero people in the lightning lane queue even the single rider queues virtually empty <laughs> Actually, hold that thought. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that out of my system real quick. You can't pass up. A 15 minute ride on the Matterhorn, right?
hit me, right? Is that a lie? Is that a truth? 20 minutes, I was not expecting, again, 20 minutes standby for space back and looking. You can see here, there's nobody out here. You can see too. They have the interior, exterior cube. And you not even going in there. Sparse crowd. I was gonna joke that, you know, if it was like 40 or 50 minutes, I was gonna say, you know what? We're gonna skip this one. I would have gone on if there was a single rider, but there is no single rider. I can't even invent it. I can't even do it. I'm gonna get the single rider bit and get out in 15 minutes and say, ooh, that was cool. But what I can do, what I can do is get in the single rider. I mean, we're doing recon. I, I wasn't even planning on going on any rides today. I thought I was just gonna watch and say, hmm, it's busy. Sometimes expectations are subverted, but it's not over yet. We're gonna have to find out. We just closed. Everyone, face coverings are required to be worn okay. indoors at all times, <laughs> including while experiencing the infection. Before you embark on your adventure, please place all the pads and glasses and lose possessions in the storage pouch. We haven't stopped. We have not stopped. We're going into the, oh my God. Welcome space travel. Spectacular surprise. OMG. Timing is everything. That took us nine minutes. Nine minutes to get into our car. <laughs> it took me longer to go through Matterhorn on single rider. It took me longer to get on the Toy Story bus this morning or this afternoon than it did to get on Space Mountain right now. But timing is everything. No sooner do we get off the ride. Here's, that's, they've now filled up that interior exterior queue. It's back out here. They're calling it 50 minutes again. And I think it might be legit because if that's, if they're not moving there and they're not moving here, and that's a solid 50 minutes, I think. Right? Incredible. How it happened just like that. Came back to check in on Matterhorn to see if that got any worse since I left it before, thinking the same applied from Space Mountain, but it's about the same. If anything, this queue's a little bit shorter on the standby side, but it's still posted at 40 minutes. However, the uh, Lightning Lane side does have considerably more guests in it. Best I can figure, people saw 20 minutes on the app and it filled up just like that. You see 20 minutes on Space Mountain, do you, you move heaven and earth to get over here at that time to ride? You don't skip it, man. You don't. You, don't, you get it right away. Uh, and that's, that's what happened, I'm sure. It's back to 50 minutes, which is about where I would have thought it was going to be. I would have expected 50 minutes when I arrived at Space Mountain this afternoon. So I think the, the, the time to panic and say, oh my God, it's not busy at all. I may, we may have jumped a little bit early on that, just like we may have jumped that it was gonna be super busy. Uh, we, still gotta, we still gotta find out. However, we're gonna put a pause on this show right now. I'm gonna take off about an hour. I'm gonna do a live stream, Downtown Disney, Super Bowl Sunday live stream from Downtown Disney. I hope you caught that. If not, watch the replay. Okay, we're back from our live stream. It is 425 on this main street on a Super Bowl Sunday. We are at Disneyland, in case you didn't know, on Super Bowl Sunday. We were trying to something. figure out if this is a good time or a bad time to go to Disneyland. People always want to know their specific days 
Like you, you what is, <laughs> you're looking for a hack, you're looking for a cheat, you're looking for a unique day to visit the park when it might be a good idea. We're in the process of figuring that out. Right now, as I mentioned, it's 425. Game is well underway. Rams are ahead. Crossing my fingers that they hang in there. I'm a Rams fan. Have been since they were the uh, Los Angeles Rams. I don't know, what are they? Yeah, they called them the LA Rams, but they played at Angel Stadium in Anaheim back in the day, just down the street. Rams used to play just down the street. But well, we've already been to Tomorrowland to check out Space Mountain. We've been to Fantasyland to check out the Matterhorn. I was surprised by our results for both of those. Both attractions were, were, were quicker than I thought they'd be. Although Space Mountain did catch up to 50 minutes like shortly after that. Uh, we were through here in Adventureland earlier during our live stream and I saw an amazing queue for Indiana Jones. During the live stream when we came through here, I, I, I poked my head and saw the queue and all of this was empty. Uh, and that was right after kickoff of the Super Bowl. It is now almost halftime. And, and the things have not gotten better, they've gotten worse. The queue shows about an hour right now, or the wait, I mean, uh, shows about an hour, and this is about an hour wait, I would imagine. So I kind of feel like I would chalk this one or put this one in the it could go either way type category, which I have a feeling is where we're headed. That is the direction that this is headed, is that it's neither. <laughs> it's, you could get lucky, uh, on the, you know, like I did in the first two attractions that I hit with Matterhorn and Space Mountain. Uh, or it could be just like it was. You know, that queue that we saw just now was was worse than the queue that we saw earlier this week, for example. Uh, so it's not, it's certainly not better. It's certainly not less busy right now uh, than it would be on a normal Sunday. Pirates of the Caribbean, no extended queue. It's just the courtyard which gives that maybe 20 minutes. If that, matter of fact, the way I'm looking at this queue right now, that is less than 20 minutes. It's moving briskly <laughs> and there's nothing out here extended. So yeah, uh, Pirates is a great time to go on Pirates right now. Although I, I have to say, I don't think this is a, a factor of Super Bowl. It is just the right time to go on Pirates today. Auto Mansion looks like it's pretty much business as usual. Postal wait time is 25 minutes, but it is coming out of the threshold. Uh, so, I mean, that looks like a pretty standard queue. I kind of feel like that guy who does uh, electric coverage, right? And he's, he's, watching, he's watching the early returns and people voting and all that. And then, but before all the votes are counted, he'll say, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I declare so and so the victor. And that's why I feel like that's what's happening right now. I've seen enough. Actually, we got one more stop. One more stop because I did find also something really interesting in that live stream. We stopped by Rise of the Resistance. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> Fine. At Rise of the Resistance. I want to see if we can repeat that. And that is the back of the Rise of the Resistance queue. <laughs> uh, I have done a lot of recon at Rise of the Resistance from this very spot. That's 30, 30 or 40 minutes, and that's with Lightning Lane being a factor. So I've got two assessments to make on Rise of the Resistance specifically, and then another one on sort of the cumulative observations that we've had today for our Super Bowl Sunday. First, Rise of the Resistance. This is the second time I've been here today where the queue is maybe 30 or 40 minutes. Closer, I didn't get a little close to wait time. I think that said 60 minutes. It said 60 minutes before. Definitely not that. I kind of feel like... <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know how to put it. I kind of feel like they have a Rise of the Resistance problem that there's no reason 
it's so it's not busy guys it's not pulling the crowd i mean it's pulling crowds but a 30 to 40 minute wait for rise of the resistance think about that think about what we've waited for indiana jones is certainly longer than that i mean you can make the argument that it's a different kind of queue and it takes longer to process the attractive guests that's true matterhorn was 40 minutes and that was that was 40 minutes that was a real 40 minutes i think that's not 60 that's 40. So what does that mean? Are, does it mean that they can just cycle so many guests that they can get, they can process all these people? That the attraction is that popular, but it's so efficient that it's because I don't know what the actual, uh, off the top of my head, I don't know what the actual guest per hour is. The rise. I thought I remember it being, you know, on sort of uh, on par with with something like Pirates, but maybe not as good as Pirates. How are they supposed to sell lightning lane? And that's, you know, I, I don't want to get off on a tangent, okay? I don't want to get off on a tangent, but, you know, Disney was, you know, slapping themselves on the back the other day for their earnings call. Best whatever quarter that they've had in whatever, however long, and they were doing great, everything was great, and now it's all due to GD Plus and lightning lane. I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know, maybe, maybe a Disney World, but it's not happening here. It's not happening here. I don't think. How, why, how could they sell like? Okay, I'm on a tangent. Let's wrap up our Super Bowl observations here a little bit. I've seen enough to say that it doesn't make any difference. It's not busier or less busy. There are moments. I think that, well, actually, I'll put it this way. I think that if I was to lean one way, it's less busy. It has been less busy on this Sunday than I might normally find on a regular Sunday. But not by a lot, and it's and, it, and I think that those were sort of isolated. I got lucky, I think, you know, with space and Matterhorn, uh, you know, those being quiet because Indiana Jones looked like a solid hour. Uh, and, and so what is that? Three out of four attractions of the big of the uh, three out of four big attractions that we checked are were better than usual. So I guess I have to lean that way. Especially after game time, I think. Well, I take that back because when we were hitting Space Mountain and uh, Matterhorn, that was before the kickoff. But people had already left. Most of the Super Bowl people who were trying to get home to see the Super Bowl had already left at that point, I think. I would say if you were to you make me make a call, it's not ideal, it's not a great time to come, but it's certainly not busier. It's not. It's definitely not busier than it is on a normal day, on a normal Sunday. How's that? Ah, <laughs> oh, good old Main Street Disneyland, right? Great way to end the show, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what kind of day I'm having. I love ending the show on Main Street. It's the best. I hope you found this video useful. I don't know. You know what? You know who's going to find this useful? Are you guys watching this in 2023? <laughs> in, in, in January or February of 2023. That's who's going to find it. Don't even... In 2022, guys, you don't care at this point. It's like watching a New Year's Eve video. Thanks for watching, though. I hope I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, uh, follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney, that's Fresh with no E, and on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. And if you like our show and want to show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreoncom slash Baked. You can also find us. We're trying out some new kind of videos on our Royal Dorks channel, uh, behind the scenes sort of diary type stuff of me going through a day, occasional uh, appearances by the wife. Uh, and uh, baby Sophia. Check it out, Royal Dorks. Also we're on the website, freshbakedizzy.com. Posting occasional news stories there as well. We're ubiquitous. We're everywhere. <laughs> so if you want to find something else about Disneyland, just type Fresh Baked and the thing that you want to find out about and we probably got you covered. Thanks for watching everybody. I love you guys. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh bake.